division rivals who lost their season's opener a week ago, the Chicago Bears and the Minnesota Vikings. So the former Bears quarterback, Jim McMahon, making his first regular season start against Chicago. Third down and six. Passing down for Jim McMahon. Bears trying to put pressure on and the swing pass out to Craig. And Craig is stopped. And a fumble. Still a loose ball. And let's see whether McMichael has held on to it. McMichael recovers. And the Bears, no official signal given yet. Yes, it is Chicago ball as Steve McMichael recovers a fumble. Third down and three. And the draw play, you called it. Neil Anderson has the first down and down to the goal line is tackled at the one by Carl Lee. He's decided to stick with Anderson. Although he does have Ironhead as the upfront blocker. A quarterback sneak by Harbaugh. Touchdown for the Bears. The Chicago Bears and Dave Wanstead looking for his first career victory as a head coach. He has never been a head coach on any level till this year and it's 6 to nothing in favor of Chicago. Third down and one on the 28 of the Vikings. McMahon on a rollout and his pass to Ismail and it's caught for a first down. First down on the 34. Two tight ends and on the draw play Word trying to test the left side and Word with tremendous power at 245 pounds is knocked out of bounds after a gain of six. First down Minnesota on their 44 yard line. On the draw play, Barry Word dives forward. I have to say, in his early showing, Word has delivered exactly what Dennis Green had wanted him to do in a pickup of four. Second down and six, Word has already carried four times for 17 yards. Vikings near midfield. McMahon's pass caught and a good catch. Chris Carter. See how the running attack, if successful, can keep people off of McMahon. Vikings moving the ball, first down on the Bear, 43, and here again is the draw play to Word. Barry Word powers his way up the middle and picks up nearly seven yards. Second down and four on the 37, and confusion, and McMahon falls on the ball and is down back on the 45-yard line. And this is the 10th play of the drive for the Vikings. Looking left, going right, protection breaks down, and a long pass for Anthony Carter is... Out of bounds, he was out of the end zone when he went after the ball and Mark Carrier defending on the play. And a penalty marker down. Personal foul, roughing the passer with the use of the helmet. 15-yard penalty, number 93, first down. Third down and nine. Ismail and Carter on the left side and now Kadri moves to the right. McMahon stepping up, going down, and he's sacked at the 30 by Richard Dent. He paid him off that time. Quad Reves. Field goal attempt is no good off to the right. First down on the 30, I formation for the Bears. Neil Anderson gets good yardage up the middle. I'll tell you, Neil Anderson, who did not play in preseason because of that sore right hamstring and only appeared as an outside receiver on some plays last week, has picked up 16 yards. Bob Christian out of Northwestern is the lone back. Half of the Rhino package in there on third and three. And Christian carries and is thrown for a loss. Maybe no gain on the play. And a big defensive play by the under-tackle John Randall. First down on the 15 for the Vikings. They had a 13-play drive last time and came up empty on the missed field goal. And the give is to Barry Word. And Word has been true to his word, diving forward and a gain of six yards. First down on the 48 of Chicago. Out of the eye, Harbaugh looking right and going right for Conway, and the pass is overthrown. He was double covered downfield. Move this club into that direction in every area. Second down and 10, and Neil Anderson with another burst gets to the 45-yard line. Most of the Bears' attack has been on the ground. Anderson with Ironhead blocking in front of him and Neil Anderson trying to find something off the right side. Stop for a yard gain. Second down and nine now for the Bears on the Viking 37. 7-0 Chicago. 
Harbaugh getting the rush, and the pass is out to Ironhead. He makes the catch. Got up and maybe got another yard or so. We'll be short of the first down. Gardaki to hold. And the kick is close, and it hits the crossbar and bounces down. Second down and 10 on the 36 with 8.05 remaining in the first half. McMahon taking a deep drop. Barry Word on the screen pass and gets up beyond the 40-yard line. Third down and two at the 44-yard line. Vikings still not on the board. McMahon's pitch is, is tipped and caught by Carter, and he's got a first down. Seven minutes to go in the first half, trailing the Bears seven to nothing. Here is Barry Word, gets an opening off the left side. Very tough to bring down. Barry Word, who now has rushed for 36 yards on nine carries. Charles Evans is in the game at running back. Last time he was in, he collided with McMahon. This time McMahon being chased by Dent from behind. The pass caught by Carter. This is the eighth play upcoming, second down and two. Barry Word back in the lineup, fighting for the first down yardage. And the Bears trying to close it off inside with the fridge. And Randall McDaniel is the blocking back up front for Barry Word. He's got the first down and more inside the 25. And now we'll have our two-minute warning down on the field. We'll return with the Vikings driving and the Bears leading. Vikings are three for three in third down attempts on this drive. They've got a third and five now, and McMahon drills the ball toward the sideline, and it's caught by Anthony Carter, and he makes the reception, and it's another first down for Minnesota. Second down and three. The Vikings can get a first down without scoring on this drive. And here's Barry Word. He's got a little hole, and a flag is down, as Word is stopped at about the two-yard line. You got to figure this is holding against Minnesota. And uh, that's a terrible call. He has missed a 47 early yard earlier in this game. And Reve's kick is good. So that is the end of the first half here at the Metrodome with the score. The Bears 7 and the Vikings 3. For 26 yards as he begins from the 23. on the first down, throwing deep, tipped away by Carl Lee on that pass. Has one of the two sacks by the Bears. East team has two so far. McMahon is dumped again. That's the third time. And Chris Zorich, who had two sacks last week against Phil Sims, comes in up the middle. And a loss of six yards. Second down and 15. Vikings have not beaten the Bears three times in a row since 1981. And it's a tough chore today. Barry Word getting... The hole off the right side, and he brings it out to the 35-yard line for a pickup of 12 more yards. Carl Lee is back in the lineup for the Vikings at cornerback. Worst field position for the Bears. First down from the 10-yard line, and Craig Hayward goes nowhere for Jim Harbaugh. Gets rid of it in a hurry, and the dive by Todd Scott, and very nearly picked off another pass. Second down and seven. The ball at the 46 of the Bears. Chris Carter nearly got by the defender on the play. Donnell Wolford, instead he gets four yards. Third down and three for McMahon. And here's Barry Word. Dives to the 40 and he is close to the first down. We may have a measurement. They are short by about a foot. Maybe less. Jordan in motion, and Evans has the first down. Dives to the 38-yard line. Second down and 10 on the 38-yard line. Here is Evans, finds a burst up the middle. And the second-year running back out of Clark College in Atlanta gains five. Mike Ditka was much harsher on this place, called it the roller dome or the barn. Not once that third down and five. Chase from the pocket is McMahon, and the pass is caught by Anthony Carter, just short of a first down. Fourth down and two yards, and Word up the middle won't get it as the Bears stuff the Vikings on fourth down. Interesting 
choice of play calling by Denny Green and his staff. First down on the 44. Robert Green is in the game and running back, and he is thrown for a loss of about two and a half. Roger Craig is in at running back. And Barry Word, the second back through. What a game Barry Word has played. Second down and seven. And here is a fake end around, and the screen pass to Word. And Word dives forward for the first down. He into the third quarter with the score. The Chicago Bears 7 and the Minnesota Vikings 3. Our coverage will continue after this message from your local station. Anthony Carter has been the chief target for Jim McMahon today. Second down and 6. There's Joe Blitz and Barry Word breaks one tackle and fires forward to the 30-yard line. It's third down and 4. Vikings converted their last third down. McMahon, pulled down, back to the 40 by Richard Dent. Pull Dent once, but not twice, and for Richard Dent, his second sack of the game. Working against Everett Lindsay, will push Lindsay all the way back to McMahon, and then reach over, Mc, uh, over Lindsay to grab McMahon and drag him down with one hand. Second sack of the day, 115 now in his career. And a key sack, as you mentioned, the timing, it knocked them out of field goal range, and now the Vikings have to kick. Newsom's punt, still bouncing. And I think the Vikings downed it inside the goal line, and they did. Maybe the one-yard line, and Ron Carpenter down the ball. Christian and Hayward in the I formation. going to be a pass on a rollout and the pass to Dante Whitaker incomplete he's out of bounds when he made the catch would have made the catch and got both feet in Harbaugh in his end zone has to hurry and the pass is incomplete a big rush from John Randall so it's second and ten Make a draw play, and on the screen, here's Barry Word. Here's Word inside the 30-yard line. Sean Gale will wrestle him out of bounds after a huge game. Five catches for 58 yards for Barry Word. First down on the 19, McMahon. And that pass is caught by Steve Jordan, the tight end. A gain of five yards. So Darth Vader to the line again, second down and five. Here's Charles Evans. Not much up the middle. And back on the 16-yard line. Bears defense has been on the field a great deal in this game. McMahon rolling out. Fires to the end zone. And he's got... Chris Carter wide open for the touchdown. Somebody must have missed an assignment. Nobody within 10 yards of Carter. And the Vikings score and take the lead. Again, it's a mix-up in the Bears secondary, Dick. As you said, confusion as to who was responsible for Carter. Mark Carrier came over late. Carter just found a huge hole in the back of the end zone. McMahon had time to get it to him. It'll be second down and 10. Quarterback draw, it appeared, and Harbaugh got very little, although he did edge his way into Viking territory. Neil Anderson is split out to the left on third and seven, and the pass is nearly intercepted, and is it picked off? Yes, it is. It is intercepted. Audrey McMillan. Look at those numbers, 23 of 29, 171 yards, and a touchdown pass, no interceptions. Jim McMahon has beaten his former team, and the Minnesota Vikings have won their sixth in a row against divisional foes. They go one and one on the year, while the Chicago Bears drop to 0-2, and both of these teams will have buys next week before they resume action. So for Dan Fouts, this is Dick Stockton saying so long for Minneapolis. The final score, the Vikings 10 and the Bears 7.